Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're out here on the range and we thought we'd go ahead and make a video showing just what a typical range day would look like. I'm just going to be working a few drills that I always work, just going over my fundamentals, you know, high ready, low ready, one reload one, just all kind of different drills. So we thought we'd just bring the cameras out, film it as we go and see what happens. So. The first drill that I'm going to do is a few shots from low ready and then a few shots from high ready. We're here at 50 yards and I have today I'm shooting first up my 11 and a half inch BCM SBR. If you've seen any of our other videos you'll know that this gun is my go-to SBR and I have it set up exactly like I like it. So we're here at 50 yards we're going to be using a or shooting at a full size silhouette torso down here. And I'm going to start with a few low ready drills. Now I'm going to do a few high ready. And if you've seen our other video about using a Surefire War Comp with a Surefire Suppressor, you'll see the uh, results of that. And a lot of people, they always say, hey, your gas block's leaking. No, it's not leaking. I've checked it multiple times, but this is all gas coming out of my suppressor. When you see how I grip the rifle and it's coming out through the rail, which is not a big deal. It's just something to uh, know about. If you uh, look to get a surefire suppressor, you may want to choose a different mounting system. So now I'm going to do a few one reload one drills. And these are just drills that I do over and over just to build that muscle memory of reloading uh, from the belt with an AR mag. I do a lot more pistol shooting than I do rifle shooting just because rifle ammo is that much more expensive. But when I do train rifle, these are just a few things that I like to just practice a few times just to keep that muscle memory active. go for our eight inch circle target down there just to give a little bit smaller target have to slow down get that good side alignment side picture not much side alignment with this red dot but just get a good side picture So just a quick overview of the rifle, it's an 11 and a half inch BCM, Aimpoint T1, Surefire Scout Light, Surefire SB2 Suppressor, T-Rex Sling, and the stock BCM PNT Trigger. So this is just kind of like an all around just good solid SBR, not a whole lot of extra stuff that's unnecessary, just set up basically just how I need it. So. We're here at 100 yards, and I'm gonna do a few shots on all the different steel targets just to make sure that my zero is dead on. We've got eight inch plates, uh, half size silhouettes, so at 100 yards with no magnification, it'll be a good test to see if the zero is still on. Thank <laughs> you. 
we're going to switch up the pace a little bit. I'm going to be doing a few drills with my Glock 47. So it's got a Swamp Fox Kraken optic on it. We have it in for testing. It's an enclosed emitter um, pistol red dot. And then my tried and true TLR1HL that I've had for like 10 years. And it's beat to crap, but it's still going good. So we're here at about eight or nine yards. We're just going to be doing a few uh, drills, just drawing, shooting, a few reloads, stuff like that. So. So this particular Glock pistol, this Glock 47, I picked up at a pawn shop for a very, very good deal. And I've kind of taken it and uh, used it as our channel pistol, where I'll take any accessory that we get in, any optic or red dot or light or anything, and I'll just test it on this pistol. And I'm also doing a little something just for my uh, information all, is I haven't cleaned this pistol since I got it. So it was used when I picked it up but it was very, very lightly used. Like, so if you know about Glock pistols, when you get them from the factory, they have the like gold lubrication on the inside, the gold grease or whatever. So when I stripped this pistol down, it still had a lot of that gold um, lubricant on the inside of the pistol. So I know this thing hasn't been shot all that much. So I have not cleaned this pistol yet and I've probably got already 1,500, 2,000 rounds. So I'm just gonna see how long I can shoot this pistol with no malfunctions and just get a rough estimate of the round count. So as you can tell, this thing's getting pretty dirty, but still running good. You're right, I can't hear jack with these things on. All right. All, right. All right guys, the next rifle we're gonna shoot today is my 14 and a half inch BCM. It's set up very similar to my 11 and a half. We got Surefire Weapon Light. This one has a Surefire Muzzle Brake, T-Rex Sling, we have a 1 to 8 Vortex LPVO. I'm probably going to change this out in the next few months just to try something else. Maybe an ACOG or something like that. I like it, but I just want to try something different. But we're here at 50 yards again. We're going to do a few up drills and then we'll go from there. With this muzzle brake on this 14 and a half inch and this mid-length gas system, this thing is super, super smooth. The recoil impulse is just non-existent. It, it, this thing is just so much fun to shoot. Just nothing to it. So a couple other differences on this gun is I have a Magpul bad lever, battery assist device, and that helps with my reloads, just makes them quicker. And also I have a Geisley trigger in here that just, it's a SSAE, so it's just super crisp, light trigger pull, real easy to shoot. So I'm going to do a few uh, reloads now. One thing cool about these BCMs with these uh, Geisley triggers is they're easy to BUMP fire. 